Weather Bulletin. The National Weather Service in Green Bay has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for West Central Brown County. Hello, I'm John Catino, Director here at Delaware County Homeland Security and Emergency Management Agency. This week is Severe Weather Awareness Week, and we partner with the National Weather Service as a storm-ready community. We would like to take a few minutes and talk to you about how to stay aware and respond when severe weather threatens our area. It is important to know the differences between severe weather watches and warnings issued by the National Weather Service. A severe thunderstorm watch means you should be prepared. Severe thunderstorms are possible in and near the watch area. Stay informed and be ready to act if a severe thunderstorm warning is issued. The watch area is typically large, covering numerous counties or even states. A severe thunderstorm warning means severe weather has been reported by the spotters or indicated by radar. Warnings indicate imminent danger to life and property. Take shelter in a substantial building. Get out of mobile homes that can blow over in high winds. Warnings typically encompass a much smaller area, around the size of a city or small county, that may be impacted by a large hail or damaging wind identified by National Weather Service forecaster on radar or by a trained spotter or law enforcement who is watching the storm. A tornado watch means tornadoes are possible in and near the watch area. Review and discuss your emergency plans and check supplies and your safe room. Be ready to act quickly if a warning is issued or you suspect a tornado is approaching. Acting early helps to save lives. Watches are issued by the Storm Prediction Center for counties where tornadoes may occur. The watch area is typically large, covering numerous counties or even states. A tornado warning means a tornado has been sighted or indicated by weather radar. There is imminent danger to life and property. Move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows. If in a mobile home, a vehicle, or outdoors, move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. Warnings are issued by your local forecast office. Warnings typically encompass a much smaller area around the size of a city or small county that may be impacted by a tornado identified by a forecaster on radar or by a trained spotter or law enforcement who is watching the storm. Hello, I am Emergency Management Deputy Director Corey Kissing. Today I'd like to take a moment and speak to you about the outdoor warning sirens. The sirens are called outdoor warning sirens because their primary purpose is to alert people who are outside during severe weather events. The system is not designed to provide notification while you are inside of your home or business. Newer homes with robust installation and the sounds of your television or radios can make it almost impossible to hear. In addition, winds, traffic, and heavy rain can also limit the ability to hear the sirens indoors. If you hear an outdoor warning siren, you should seek shelter inside immediately. Once inside, you should turn on the television or radio to learn further information. Local officials will be releasing information through these news outlets. In Delaware County, the outdoor warning sirens are tested on the Friday of each week at 11 o'clock a.m. to ensure that they are working properly. If there is a threat of weather, of any kind during the planned testing time, the sirens will not be tested. The use of the NOAA weather alert radio is highly encouraged in your home or place of work. These radios are inexpensive and will provide an audible alert when a severe weather watch or warning has been issued for the area. There are also many smartphone applications that will display weather alerts in your location, but keep in mind that they are not compatible on all devices. In addition, you can sign up for Delaware County's Nixle Testing Alert Service. Not only are severe weather warnings notifications sent out, but also other important information regarding other community emergencies that may occur. To sign up for Delaware County's Nixle Alerting System, simply text your zip code to 888-777 or visit nixle.com. Hi, I'm Chief Information and EMA Logistics Section Officer Kyle Johnson. I would like to talk to you about what you should do and how to stay safe if your area has sustained damage by severe weather. 
If a tornado or severe thunderstorm has affected your area, you need to stay informed. Continue listening to local news or NOAA weather radio to stay updated about severe thunderstorms, watches, and warnings. More severe thunderstorms could be headed your way. You should contact your family and loved ones. Let your family and close friends know that you're okay so they can help spread the word. Text messages or social media are more reliable forms of communication than phone calls during an emergency. Assess the damage. After you are sure the severe weather threat has ended, check your property for damages. When walking through storm damage, make sure to wear long pants, a long sleeve shirt, and sturdy shoes. You should contact local authorities if you see power lines down. Stay out of damaged buildings and be aware of insurance scammers if your property has been damaged. Try and help your neighbor. If you come across people that are injured and you are properly trained, if needed, provide first aid to victims until emergency response team members arrive.